Ahoy there, fellow phantasmas of the thing. I don't know where I was going with that. Phantasmagoriax? Phantasmagoria, you say? Goria. Phantasmasnoria, you say? Should we watch the intro? I thought we already did. Um... Did we? I don't know. I don't think that was What's... the intro. Okay, let's see what happens. Yeah, you, oh, have, to, you have to click on the button on the left. It's, uh... It's not the most intuitive thing. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try and maximize this so I can see what's going on. Hang on. Uh, never mind. Okay, what are we playing, Gabriel? Or what are you playing, rather? <laughs> Phantasmagoria 2. Phantasmagoria Snoria, you say? Puzzle of flesh! That is a bit loud. You know, I quite like that as subtitles go. Um, yeah. Me and Yahtzee are gonna work together and today so try and solve this puzzle of flesh. I only at least is that, that sounded kind of bad, actually. Well, so, you know, now the YouTube community can draw us as puzzle pieces, I having not weird, want... muscly sex. Yes, I did not want to work with you to solve a puzzle of flesh, Gabriel. <laughs> I don't want, to, don't want to get to know you that well. Uh, all What's... the women we've spit-roasted beg to differ. What's going on? Who's this Jag Balls? Uh, his name is Jag Balls. I don't think you know, do you? No. Okay. I've played the first one, I never played uh, pu a Puzzle of Flesh. Yes, I think originally you suggested we do Fantasize Magoria, but yes. I said that Red Supre started that fairly recently. And I and suggested we go around to their house with a crowbar and tell them to get off our fucking turf. Ah, uh, they're smart enough to have never released their address. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna play Phantasmagoria 2 instead. Yeah, which um, at the moment is smelling a bit like Jacob's Ladder. I uh, did you find that as well, yes. I guess all we know at this point is there's a mad bloke. Yeah. And Jacob's Ladder, a great, great movie with a stupid, stupid ending. Mad bloke and an evil bloke. Doing evil things to I'm the mad bloke. I'm a maniac, bloke. maniac. With my hand on a knob. <laughs> getting... <laughs> getting... Giving electric shocks electric to the shock. lunatic. Well, I've, um, in, uh, what's his name? Um, Stephen Fry's documentary about the secret life of the manic depressive. He met a guy who actually undergoes modern electroshock and highly recommends it. And Ooh. the stigma around electroshock is, uh, a little unfair, I think. Monique Parent, isn't she a softcore porn actress? I don't, don't ask me how I know that. Okay. I lied. How do you know that? <laughs> well, like, why are you watching softcore porn? Lonely nights searching for clips. <laughs> when? Like, 1999? I don't see why there's a stigma for softcore porn. It's all the fun without all that hideously clinical close-ups of body not parts. A, not, not a stigma. I just, like, porn to me is a pragmatic exercise. And like, will, it has to do a job. That's strange. The characters in the credits appear to be trapped in a snow globe. It was all a dream. No, actually, it was one year earlier. Ah, uh, later. No, there's nothing quite like 90s FMV for making skin look pancakey and hideous. <laughs> Just everything wrong. Have you ever seen, have you ever played Harvester? There's a sex scene in that. It looks like two blobs of cookie dough rubbing up against each oh, other. Oh, lordy. Put on your Lego glasses now. Okay, so all we know at this point is that here is a madman. Oh, and my God, it's Canadian rapper Snow. Okay. It's going to play the intro again, isn't it? Yep, thought as much. Nope, but so I can skip it. So what was the point of that whole menu option, I ask you? Well, okay, and here's an interesting thing. He's put on his glasses. Tucked his shirt in. Tucked his shirt, tucked his, yeah, tucked his fucking t-shirt into his pants. With a he's belt. he's a fucking idiot. Into his pants with a belt. Seriously, I can't see a white guy with those glasses without getting informer stuck in my head. Okay, yeah. so... Are we just supposed to accept this guy as a dork? Because if we are, this is excellent storytelling This is kind so of far. novel. When you move the thing around, he moves and looks. So he's like, I'm looking over here. So that looks like a thing we can interact with. Huh. Inform... You just put, you just put your glasses on, you dozy twat. Very attractive. Yes, you are. Now put them back on. Okay, let's go see if there are some options. All right, so that looks like video playback. Cool. And that looks like control a control panel. panel. Are there subtitles by any, for any chance? Map. Well, we will look. I doubt it, frankly. Uh, game options. Yeah. Yep. Didn't think wait, so. Wait, wait, wait. What's that? Game credits. Who wants credits? We already know who's behind Holy this. Holy crap! Online help! <laughs> Online is hyphenated. Look at it. It's fantastic. D is that actually mean help on the internet? Because, of course, Sierra used to be called online systems, didn't Even though they? it wasn't on what we modern people would refer to as a line. Okay, so, question. Yes. What are we even meant to be doing? Um, 
Because that hasn't been established. So maybe know. it's you a discover. Brought the, you brought the game. Well, yeah, but I figured... That well, let's find out more about this uh, man awkwardly standing in his bedroom. We found out that he likes books. Informer. Yes, all right. It's stuck in my head now. You've made that point. He keeps a screwdriver in his bedside table. Just in case he needs to screw himself in the middle of the night. This is how I imagine your bedside table looks, actually. I don't have a bedside table. As well you know. From that time we were solving that puzzle of flesh. <laughs> I prefer my meat Rubik's Cube. Better take that screwdriver with me this morning. Okay, photograph appearance. All right, that's... Uh, that's a <laughs> rather young-looking father. That's not your parents. Down. No. <laughs> uh, and what's that? That's a sweet wrapper. Gum? What is that? Roberta Williams. Screwdriver. I don't want to, want to see a larger picture of it. I want to know what it is. Yeah, I'm... I'm trying to see if I can get him to maybe right click. Use oh. it on himself. Use it on himself. Oh, oh, it said granola bar. Is that what it is? Uh, you All right. Put your mouse over something and it said granola bar. Yeah, it does that when I when you go down to the bottom. All right, so yes, we have that stuff. Nothing else appears to be too useful. Okay, so. it's a uh, privilege to see your thought process in action here. Well, I mean, you know. The human thought process is meaningless when thrust against the absurdity of point-and-click adventure games. Now, what did I come in here for? Oh yes, this I'm just collecting random photographs from around the house. Uh, I'm presuming we're the guy in the middle, because we're not a lady and we don't have a beard. Although we might need a beard later. <laughs> uh... It's a point-and-click adventure game, you always need a beard for later. He looks like how I imagine Clark Kent would look if he'd lost his powers and let himself go for a while. I've read every book I own at least twice. Who are you talking to, Mr. Don't-know-who-your-name-is? I do the same thing. I talk, to, I, I talk to nobody just in case someone's sitting at home, clicking away, wondering why I'm so goddamn boring. Good morning, Bob. Oh, he has a bird? I don't know. Turn it up a little bit. Like, I, I think he's got a rat. He's got a rat. Because he's edgy in 90s. All right, I'll check it back to him. Rat is the pet for the people too cool for a cat. Or who need a pet they can lock in a cage relatively easily, to I, be fair. I've heard they make good pets, actually. Um, yeah. They're, they're smart and trainable, although they do smell and are quite prone to disease, hence that whole plague thing. Piss everywhere. All right, look, okay. I want to go in that room, but well, I tough. Don't you can't to be able to. Okay. It's, it's just like playing a bad text adventure. I can't see a room there. Yeah, yeah, stop fucking with me, game. Just go in room. I don't see any room here. Try using different words. Oh, if this was a space quest game, what the hell are you talking about, you spaz? You must, you must be some kind of idiot. Oh, I'm gonna go back to my room. That deserves a cutscene. Oh no. Okay, okay, making progress here. Ah, we found a door. Go check my mail. Perhaps the door will allow in uh, exgress, or whatever the opposite of ingress is. Some residual checks and some updates on my lawsuit against Vanilla Rice. Are they in your inventory now? Should we have a look? Must escape house. All right. Oh, no, we've yeah. forgotten something. No wallet. Oh, man. I can see this guy is... Uh, not so much of an inward thinker. Okay, there's gotta be... You got some mail. Okay, maybe look up an FAQ in case there's some basic... What is the end game here? Are we planning to play this whole game or just drown it out? I have no idea. Um, okay, look something up because I want to make sure that I'm not missing out on an obvious thing like here's how to look at and manipulate objects. Like, because right, that could be right. important. You know what, this will be fun. I'll have a walkthrough open yeah. and uh, I can I can be the sort of trickster quiz master. All right, who so will drop far... subtle clues. Oh, awesome. Okay, I've worked out how to look at mail. You've worked out how to sit down. Well done. Most people figure that out from the womb, but uh, at least you're making some progress. <laughs> I was born to sit down. It's photos again. Why are you looking at the back of it? Maybe there was just a funny joke written there. <laughs> it was just dick butt. That was all that was written on the... <laughs> just sits down, hey, I got a... 
Look, I got a thing. Ah, oh, dick butt. Fuck, I know, how many of these is he going to send me? A whimsical smile crosses his face as he okay, recognizes... Okay, so I can't leave the house because I don't have my wallet, so I'm looking for my wallet. That's, that's, that's the game. We're playing find the fucking... Ooh, check under the couch. Ah ha 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 ha. There it is. Oh, my wallet. I wanted a peanut. Lift something. your couch. You try lifting your couch. Or I'll just use a screwdriver. I can't or do that. Or not, because this is a Sierra adventure game. Or had you forgotten? <laughs> uh, uh. Alright, we got some... Alright, I literally can't... Okay, I, this is... I got controls here. Yeah, that's, that's we've pretty much uh, figured it all out. Although, uh, combine inventory items might be a bit obscure. It says here it's only done three times in the whole game. Okay. Alright. So where are we? Well, I was thinking maybe digging under my thing with a screw- Like, my wallet's there! I can't get it! That's well, you're on the wrong track. Trying to connect screwdriver to wallet, I'm afraid. Maybe I can get the rat? Ah, yeah, you skipped him getting the rat there. Uh, I thought he was just gonna do the usual routine of just, Hey, look, I got a fucking rat. What's wrong with the sound? I don't know. I, I might turn it down in-game and then we'll turn it up on the TV. I think it's you. Bob, come out of there. I think you have cursed this production. Uh, my flesh is just too puzzling for it. Oh no, now the rat won't come out again. Whatever will we... Yeah, you got it. <laughs> I know, I'll use the only other fucking object I've got. I'm not doing well at this uh, quiz master role, am I? And then when it gets out, I'll stab it with my fucking screwdriver for being a fucking little prick. This is the most roundabout way anyone has ever gotten anything. And I'm including some of the puzzles in Discworld 1 there. I don't know, man. Like, if your solution to getting your wallet out from under your goddamn couch isn't lift the couch, but instead is get rat, lure rat out with granola bar, I want to apply you to the world of theoretical physics, because you're going to come up with some fascinating solutions to wait, problems. Wait, so the rat attached itself to the wallet and brought the wallet out with it? No, it just it brought it out on its, yeah, it brought it out on its own accord. Alright, am this, I allowed out now? This game's dumb. Why are we playing this dumb game? You can't go with me. Bob's the only out of the Ooh, that was a little hint about future story. Okay. Bob sounds like a jerk, and I work at Intech. Incidentally, your rat's name is Blob. Fair enough. It says click on WinTech. Ah, oh, but I want to go to oh, the sorry, dreaming that tree. That wasn't very Puzzle Master, was it? <laughs> let me try. That, <laughs> let me try that again. To proceed this game today, you must click. I'll take on... capital capitals, Alex. The answer is Sydney. You must click <laughs> on a on a place of work, not play. There you go. Okay. Can I open my wallet? Am I allowed to look in it? Oh, there we go. Ha 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 ha! You found a thing. Yeah, you're you're storming ahead, man. I've played enough of these things now, and taken copious amounts of drugs, so my brain can function in a first-person or in a point-and-click adventure game. So do we, do we have any details on the history of this game? I have no fucking clue at the moment. Well, it's by Sierra, and presumably by Roberta Williams, because Phantasmagoria 1 was. I love Phantasmagoria 1 because it advertised itself as being written by a writer. Look at you solving the puzzle of drinking some water. I'm thirsty! Oh, optional. Examine the water cooler for a cutscene. And what a cutscene it was. Thanks. Okay, I think I'm... Oh, here's Billy. Is that, uh, Tom? I don't know. Let's find out. Tom? Yep. Sorry to bother you, but, um, I'm finishing up the uh, Veneman document today. I'm just wondering what you want me to try to start next. Huh. I want you to try untucking your fucking shirt, you dumbass. Action packed Sierra Adventure! Documentation for Eleutheria 9. Great. Thanks. Who knows where this file will end up after this searing character moment? This is the whole game. It's literally just like this dude's day at the office. Action packed filing action, whatever. I'm gonna go steal Tom's lunch. You know, I think this is a pretty good choice for Drown Out. <laughs> I told you, man, I got your hook up. A lady! You can tell by all the flowers. 
quick, let's <laughs> rape her. I imagine that comes that comes across at some point in this game. Uh, yeah, of course. Phantasmagoria One famously had a rape scene because there was some kind of strange unspoken obligation on the part of FMV Adventure Games to be really atrocious uh, and, and attempted edgy. I want to see someone make a point-and-click adventure game of Irreversible now. With what? Uh, people who've seen movies tell Yahtzees about them so we can finally have conversations. Incidentally, when I made that rape joke there, that'll be the last rape joke, because I don't want us turning into PewDiePie anytime soon. <laughs> who? Yeah, just relish your ignorance on this matter. Okay. <laughs> Okay, have consensual sex with her. Fine. Yeah, I'm not why didn't picky. that occur to you, Yahtzee? Uh, because I'm an MRA, obviously. Yahtzee rape culture, Crowshaw. Yahtzee rape, Crowshaw. Uh, I don't want to watch these two people necking. It's like watching two cows trying to dislodge grass from each other's mouth. Been a while, Yahts. What makes you say that? I was, uh, speed dating. Shut up. <laughs> I was going to support a friend. I was wingmanning. You can't prove anything. <laughs> oh, you did it again. You I didn't want to do it again. Well, you accidentally did it again. Shh. Oh, Curtis. Is this Jocelyn, by the way? Probably. Because apparently you're supposed to use all those photos you found on her. I don't know why. I guess, I guess she's the human album. Yeah, this game's going nowhere fast. Shall we just talk about a topic while you randomly click on things? Uh, I don't know, man. I'm riveted by Tay Leone's less attractive cousin. Alright, where's the options here? Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Uh, is that making you feel any better? I'm trying to work out if that crackling is... what the source of the crackling is. Uh, this game being shit? Alright, fuck it then, because I, I need to hear what's going on, it's driving me nuts. Okay. Do you want to save game? Save early, save often, that's Sierra yeah, for I you. Suppose. Although, uh, I doubt there are many ways to kill yourself in this office. But, you know, Sierra games have proved me wrong in the past. Ha 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 ha! Foiled! Ah, oh, damn it. I had a funny thing and everything. Oh well, you'll a never know. save file name with more than nine letters. Who would want such a thing? Lunatics and madmen. Do you have a desk? Or I are think you just, so. Are you just the office mascot? <laughs> Hi! Just, My name's Billy. Are you working? You stand in the middle <laughs> of the floor. <laughs> and you occasionally glance at things. <laughs> I'm guessing this is a. I'm guessing this is a talk. business casual sort of environment. Well, there. Oh. Ah, Satan appears to have oh, walked you, in. Uh, up too late watching Beavis and Butthead. Oh, 90s references. Did, well, Actually, yes. This, this having been made in the 90s. It's the darkest yeah, timelines, cool David Spade. Yeah, he kind of looks like that one bloke from yeah, Heroes who absorbed other people's powers, <laughs> but it's, but sort of the evil parallel universe version with the goatee beard. He is to Skeet Ulrich as Skeet Ulrich was to Johnny Depp. But here I am on time and fresh. What is going on? He's tucked his t-shirt in too, and it's a turtleneck. It's well, that, I guess that's why they get on so well. Belt as well. Oh, is uh, he, he the, said don't go there. Is he the comedy 90s homosexual? I don't think he's gay. I suspect I he may be. I picture of my fucking rat. <laughs> Where'd that text come from? It just popped up. Huh, can we make that happen with all text now? Uh, here are some numbers. Yep, this is boring. I was oh, right the first time. That'll come in handy. Use computer! Do we remember what the name of... Only putting alternate lines on the screen to lower the file size for a video is. Scan lines? I don't know. <sighs> Why are you asking me? I'm like the least knowledgeable person on these matters. I don't know. I thought oh, you okay. might, wait, might have we? picked it up. Oh, you're, is this you? Are you Curtis Craig? Oh, Jesus. 
Apparently. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to assume the password is the name of your rat because that's exactly the kind of sensible Me. puzzle. Six one zero zero. Why would that be your, your computer password? It looks more like also all those other names. It looks more well. like phone extensions to me, but no, okay. That's possible. Well, I'll try. I'll try Blob first. Okay. Does this mean we won? Yes, I think this is a victory spasm. Well, now things are hotting up. That's I exactly what I'd do if I was a ghost. I spoke too soon. Is this game about a haunted office building? Is this what we're... Or a haunted lip, perhaps? Welcome to the world of the dead. Don't talk to Gabriel. He just runs around pistol whipping people with his ghost dick. My god. Someone was eating a jam sandwich at my desk. And judging by the corner of my mouth, it was me all along! I have, must have some kind of Tyler Durden relationship. Except he just eats jam sandwiches. Seriously, I would... Literally be going... Like, if, if, something like that, if something like that happened to me, I wouldn't be like, Ah, oh, that was a weird thing to happen. I'd be like, shit, my brain huh. is going. An invisible fist punched yeah. me and made my face bleed. That's... Uh, I'll get to the bottom of this mystery. No, something fucky's happening. Shall we ask the uh, gay parallel universe Peter Petrelli about that? <sighs> I'm gonna call him Skis. Alright. Skeezer. Well, we had a list Classic Skeezer, man. What if I said I don't know? Shit, Trump, I think I'm going nuts. What? Okay. What, did somebody hit you or something? I swear to God, I was just sitting at my desk, and um, somebody slugged me, but there was nobody there. There's a little bit too much eye contact for my liking. Totally psycho. No. Of course not. It looks like the plague from Hackers. When I got the flu and... I remember very little about that film. <laughs> Except that Johnny Lee Miller was in it. Ah! What? I did. I had not connected those two as the same human being. Okay. So there we go. Have, is that it? Have we won the conversation? Yeah, well, I told Skis about the fact that I got punched by nothing, and, and uh, he, uh, we seem to have just moved on. I don't know, he just said... Who cares? Are you hiding in the cupboard? Is it time for the crafty morning wank? Because <laughs> every office needs this room. This isn't suspicious. Yes, uh, every office needs the wall-mounted hunting trophies room. It's for, you know, it's for team spirit. <laughs> we keep an 1800s hunter in the office just to motivate the staff. Yes, this, these are just all the animals that died on our last team building weekend. Yeah. Funny thing, it wasn't even a hunting trip. <laughs> we assembled a team out of old animals. You're just that incompetent, Curtis. We were supposed to be paintballing, he just kept tripping over in the woods, we don't know what was going on. <laughs> Every single time he landed on a deer. <clears throat> It was the babies I felt sorry for. Why isn't hunting human game part of paintball? Like, that would be great. You all roll a dice, whoever gets the, like, lowest roll is the fucking, you know, goon. They get a 20 minute head start and everyone else fucking hunts them. It's not exactly a team building exercise though, is it? Did I say it had to be? I just said it's fun. Unless maybe you had someone from outside the team, like a random foreigner, perhaps. <laughs> we rolled the dice and- oops, I dropped the dice. Guess it's the brown person. Ugh, oh, ihole. Hi, I wasn't masturbating into your office. Okay, so this was the man who was organizing the hunting weekends. I was just looking for a word eight manual. Don't mind me. If you find anything that resembles semen that in your desk drawer, it came from one of the animals. I think it's just correctional fluid. <laughs> uh, it doesn't work though. Semen dries clear. It's uh, that new kind of semen. <laughs> it's that new kind of semen. Yes. <laughs> what is your mouse cursor supposed to be? I is it like the rock? Don't know. Is it the uh, centuries-old corpse of Pac-Man? All right, that's okay. Don't need Baldo to talk. Baldo McTitnugget. I was going to say Fraser Crane, but fine. So I got to use. Apparently, that's that's what uh, the standard repository of all knowledge and wisdom is telling us. Bit. I need to hear. This is driving me insane. Curtis, I didn't send you this. 
I've never seen it before. Oh, yeah. the plot thickens. Oh, it's. <laughs> what was that look on his face? It's Trevor. He's just screwing around. Well, that was awkward. Kiss her again. That'll shut her up. Gonna drag my nuts on your shoulder. Huh. Why would he show me that sexy postcard? Am I not sexy enough? Is it my stupid 90s bob hairdo? <laughs> Perhaps I should sex sexy nick sex sex. I'm sorry I showed you that sexy postcard. Hey, here's a picture of me looking like a twat to make up for it. She looks like one of those chickens with the feather. Hello, security. Feather fluff. Security, that man with the photos is back. I remember after the party, too. This is just their morning ritual. Look at photos, light filing, coffee, wank off in desk. She is quite handsy for like what I'm presuming is about 10 a.m. on a work day. I think she's fixing for like you know, a lunchtime shafting in the utility cupboard. Maybe she's pregnant. That's what they're like. <laughs> Them fucking brood mares. <laughs> you see, the women claim my seed, and I bet you're doing all this to maintain your purity of essence, Yahtzee. I'm just saying, you know, pregnant women, especially newly pregnant, tend to have what's termed the glow, the sort of uh, extra dose of hormones. You know, you you look a lot like your mother. So that was the. Uh, Photograph of parents you showed her. Well, that wasn't weird. Touch. Ugh. Oh, the neck. <laughs> Let me just uh, test my grip. Yep. I'm going to squeeze your neck now. Yep, just sizing her up for the uh, throttle method of abortion. I feel like I've been with an irregular amount of women that like being choked. Let's move on from that topic <laughs> as fast as is humanly possible. So that's what this guy's doing. We're out of there. Okay, I'm gonna set myself a rule. No more rape and abortion jokes. That's just beneath me. I and my mum might complain again. I'll break that. I don't think my mum listens to this. Well, you, you actually talk to her sometimes. Anyway. Okay, we've done all that. Right. Oh, oh, this is, is the, uh, that's what this is. This is the Winner Tech logo. Is the Evil Parallel Universe Peter Petrelli Trevor? Yes. But you were supposed to show all your postcards and photos to him as well. Uh, you know, I'm thinking this might be a 100% guide. I don't think you actually need to do that. <laughs> is it? Uh, I don't want to do 100% of this shit. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, there's... There's supposed to be another lady somewhere. There's a Jocelyn and there's a Therese. Ooh. Have you have you found any other ladies? No. I'm gonna go show Steve Dave some photos. Okay. Did you send my me a fucking sexy postcard? Could a ghost just punch you in the face again, please? Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Well, somebody's hot. Who who does this? God. Give it a rest. Just, um, have mercy on the poor girl when you find her, Fabio. You'll spoil her for all other men if you're not careful. Oh, you're so zany. Phantasmagoria, horror, action, uh, intrigue stuff. <laughs> Phantasmaglory Hall. Oh, nice. Phantasmagoria. Mm -hmm. If you know, I was minding my own business and you were walking up showing me photos, I'd get curious. Like, what are you doing? Seriously, yes. what are you doing? What, 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 what do you want me to <clears throat> say here, man? Uh, I don't know. Maybe a topic. Okay. Um, how about that uh, Mozilla guy standing down after everyone hated him for his opinions? <laughs> uh, well, that's what he gets for donating a grand to Prop 8. See, this was, this was what I said. A grand is nothing in politics. That's like tossing him a quarter on the street corner. Yeah, but if you give a quarter to, like, a guy with a big sign saying, I promise to exterminate all the Jews, it still doesn't look too good. I guess. But I, there's something iffy about, you know, you know, um, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> what's the word? The not, not, dictatorship of the masses? I wouldn't say harass, more like, um... Getting up a guy's butt for no, his opinions. 
Well, see, th- th- this is where we get into the, I think, the, the the tricky nexus of what's an opinion. Because he, to, to be fair, he was wanting to materially express that opinion in a manner that directly negatively affected the lives of other people. And I think when when you get into the ring, you're not allowed to complain if someone hits you. I guess. Like to me, that's saying I want to be part of this fight. But uh, the solution is not to silence. Ooh. Oh, you found more cubicles. Ah, there she is. That'll be it. Talk to that other lady who's not the one you're... I'm Deirdre Book Reader. Although it's hard to tell the difference between the two. Mm. Ask you a question. Will you touch my winky? Could you lean a little bit further forward? in the world beyond what we can see. Well, that's I'm a great... not reaching into your pants again. Not on Monday morning, Curtis. <laughs> I fell for this at the office party. Yes. I think we're surrounded by things we can't see. So anyway, if you haven't heard this story... I mean, I first became aware of this because I'm an occasional OkCupid user. Or I should say was. At this point, I'm just down to despondently checking the page now and then to see if anyone sent me a message. Oh, God. But but uh, that's besides the point. But you've, one day you've I made was... one half of the listenership really sad, and the other half bizarrely optimistic. But one day I was going onto there in Firefox, and it said, "Hey, Firefox user," and I felt that's a little bit personal of you, okay, Cupid. They said, "Hey, Firefox user, the guy who makes Firefox like is a big gay hating bastard, and you're a bastard for using his products. Use one of these other browsers linked below." And I remember it happening on April the 1st, so I wondered if it was one of those many reasons why you should never surf the internet on April 1st. That's a bit of a convoluted prank. Like, if that, if that was ever a prank, it's like, hey, this guy hates gays. Ha 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 ha, ha 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 ha. It is a bit of a prank, but it's unusual for a, a company to uh, act based on, you know, politics of an individual. Uh, it's, 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 that's the thing, it's bleeding out now. Like, I mean, it's like, um, what was it, Sears, when they dared to show, like, a fucking lesbian couple or some shit, and the usual hillbilly fuck nuggets came out of the woodwork and were like, ah, good family! And they responded by telling him to get fucked and then making another ad with even more gay parents. What's the, uh, what's that Mozilla guy's name? Brendan Ike? I think so, I don't know, I wouldn't know. Brendan or Brandon is one of them. Um, but had he actually expressed any anti-gay views or just pay, gave money to people who did? Prop, well, okay, proposition, uh, the, 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 there's that kind of weird grey area of people who say they're not anti-gay, they just don't want marriage redefined, which is just, it's, it's like people say they're not creationists, they're in, about intelligent design, and it's like, that's really just a fun, convoluted way of saying you're an asshole. How about we redefine marriage as pointless ceremony that... That uh, has no real purpose in the world anymore. <laughs> it's a fucking contract. Except you fucking yahoos. Except to make egotistical young women feel like a princess for the day. <laughs> One of my favorite Onion articles was just wedding of four hundred enjoyed by nobody but bride. Something I've always, I always, you tend to always hear about a certain kind of woman who's always talking about the dream wedding they're going to have. They never seem to have any idea of who they're going to be marrying in this dream wedding. It doesn't seem like they've thought about it beyond the ceremony. Because they are just a mannequin that can support a suit. I think yes. the guy just told me to kiss, kiss his ass. And optionally a willy. You know, what I just said fits equally as well to either of the things you just said. I was actually saying it in response to, you know, a mannequin in a suit. How do I get out of here now? I can't. Well, tough, you're at work. Oh, go back go. to your cubicle and sit there for eight hours, you slacker. I have to do this crazy Z walk in order to get back to the door. Um, well, I mean... Maybe you're drunk. This is the... This is, I think... The problematic element of absolute freedom. Don't use Because you the can word. think anything you want, you can do anything you want, but so can everybody else. That's the problem. And Don't if- say problematic. Why? Problematic is like a word exclusively used by social justice people these days. To refer to any I'm not they letting, disapprove of. I'm not letting the word problematic, which is a very general use fucking word... Well, be more get sp- absorbed into the... Be more specific. When you say problematic, do you just mean I don't like it? No, it has a problem. Like, it is, it, 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 it is, a, it is an inherent problem that everyone is absolutely free. Because on the one hand, you know, you can be It is an inherent problem that everybody is free. Absolutely free. That's a quote free. by Gabriel Morton there. Didn't you make a rape quote earlier? So. My point <laughs> is, 
My point is that everyone is entitled to a view. You shouldn't silence or victimize person for a view, even if you think the view is wrong or to be disapproved no, of. No, 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 no. Everyone's entitled to a view. You're not entitled to a view unchallenged. Yes. Yeah, and he didn't just say, I don't like gay people. He committed money to something that prevented gay marriage, and that is getting into the ring and saying, I'm part of this fight. Okay. That's the differentiator. Right. Right. But I'm not sure why he needed to step down from as CEO of the company. Well, he didn't need to. But this is what I mean about the problem of the wall of public opinion is now that kind of negotiating that kind of social violence is a complex and necessary aspect of anything. It's like the, um, the mighty number nine community manager. Yes. Like, is what she did, you know, objectively bad? No. It's objectively bad, though, for her job as a community manager because I'm she... bored of this screen. Click on something else. No, I don't think there's anything else to click on. I must be I'm stuck. Oh God. God! Help! Help! I don't know how to walk through this corridor. There's a sort of archway in the way. Ooh, I don't have access. Well, it's not the end of the day, is it? You're locked in until you finished your work day. I mean, I'm sure this won't bite you in the ass if there's ever a fire. I mean, it's like you know, I completely support if some stupid you know independent businessman wants to go. I don't want a third faggot, because then it's completely up to anybody to go. Well, I'm not going to your goddamn homophobic shop. You fucking can't. Well, exactly. Oh, hey, Dries. Hmm? How are you? Oh, I think it's time for some uh, baby making in the cupboard. God, this never happens. Yes, it does. Then you never worked in an office, have you? Well, I have, and let me tell you, sure. it's twenty-four-seven. Uh, you're afraid to go in there for some staples for, because the office bike will be going past. I don't know. See, I've worked hospitality, and if you get a hand job in the handicap bathroom, that's pretty much like that's that's fairly. You're upset if that doesn't happen in a week. Nah, I feel sorry for the handicapped people who are supposed to be using it. <laughs> Why is your mouse <coughs> cursor on that box? Because that, that's what the mouse cursor is, it's WinTech. Okay. Handicap stalls are like the fucking first class of bathrooms though, like it's- they're just- they're just nicer. They're roomier. <laughs> she made my pee pee feel funny. <laughs> Wieners! Oh, it's a W. Yeah. I was not seeing the negative space. I just saw a big gnashing mouth. Oh. Oh, oh. alright. Nope. I guess one of my points- Whee! The point I'm making is that it worries me that, like, uh, especially on, like, Tumblr, that this new sort of kind of censorship is coming about. The sort of... It, it worries me that a, the younger and traditionally more liberal generation are the ones calling for censorship. Well, that is like... Of offend, offending people. Well, again, I don't, I don't think this specific instance fits into that. I remember reading somewhere that someone said uh, something that the left will censor because it offends, the right will censor because it's indecent. <laughs> well, that's why I always say if you're offended, tough. Like, it's just like you, like, I don't get offended by shit. Like, it's really easy to just go, I don't care about that. Even if it's something that's objectively fucking terrible, like. But they try to impose their offense. Look at the whole mm. cancel Colbert thing. I don't want to even. Why the hell should the show be that? canceled because you were offended? What kind of Nazi are you? It's Hashtag almost like, cancel Croshaw. Make it happen. It's almost like the younger, this new generation are so used to the idea of living in a proto Orwellian state where we're all constantly monitored that they're start, they're trying to hasten it along. They're even <laughs> making their own four minute hates now. Uh, ooh. It's a new person each time, but it's a four minute hate. I love the idea of viral activism is it's just viral like a cold. It comes, it goes, and nothing's <laughs> fucking changed. Exactly. Like, you're really fundamentally useless. If you're targeting one of these things, all you can do is just uh, weather the storm. Yeah, really. I'm gonna start a conversation, says person who can't do anything. What you don't do, what you don't do is apologize. Oh Be no. Because even if you do, they don't accept it. This yeah. is their pattern. They say, we'll, we, we will continue to lobby for your banning because you haven't given us a sincere well, apology. Until they get distracted. And that's the thing when... Well, of course they haven't given you a sincere apology because no they, don't, enough. they don't believe they have caused offence. They well, that, can't be sincere in their apology if they don't believe they've done something wrong. That and these, the, these cretins are so exclusionary that there is literally no way to fit into their system of value. You are just external, particularly with lunatics like Park, who call whiteness a disease. Oh, the system of value like, is a smokescreen. These are people who are just looking for reasons to be offended so yeah. that they can have a nice cathartic shout about something. Yeah. And the hierarchy is about who can find the new offense. 
Fuck you, internet. I don't know why we make these videos for you. Let's stop this one right here. The worst thing the internet ever did was turn social justice into just another fandom. Well, I suppose we shouldn't complain about the internet. The internet's just a format for everyone to put whatever they like up. Tis but a vector. Well, that's... The, the great thing about the internet is it gave everyone a voice. The worst thing about the internet is it gave everyone a voice. Yes, I mean, this is what I'm saying. We need to take uh, yeah, all opinions, all even the ones we disappprove of. Engage. That's what I always say. Is you can engage with my opinion. You just turn, did you just you. turn into Captain Picard for a second there? Just. Like, you know, you, you can engage with an opinion without having to rapidly support it or vehemently deny it. Mr. Crusher? <laughs> Sorry, continue. No, no, you keep going with that. That was fun. I was just going to say, Mr. Crusher, set okay. course for Starbase Rape. I'm, I'm trying to get into the portal to John Malkovich's brain. All right, so if you could find me a gizmo to do that, that'd be helpful. I, I just have get, literally no idea what to do now. Let me just get my quiz master on. <sighs> okay. Maybe I'll talk to somebody and they'll be able to tell Man, me. Man, there's stuff. a whole lot of random shit you can do in the in the office. Okay, can't talk to her anymore because she's just sick of my shit. Did you, uh... Okay, you went into the network room, examined the boxes, yeah. and moved them... And then use the screwdriver on the small door. Yeah. Well, apparently that's all you can do with that at this point, because the plot hasn't been properly paced out yet. So tough. Alright. I need to talk to Horny McThinks with her, cunt. I really like you a lot. Okay, you did the desk drawer thing. You examined Blob's picture. Listen to you talk to Trevor about your hallucination, you talk to Therese... That woman just said listen to a language of flesh. Who talks like that? I know, that, seriously, guys, have more self-respect, don't, really don't fuck crazy. I like how she pulled his shirt and neck down after she said that. Yeah. It's like, there's some there! Same what thing. are you trying to tell me, flesh? And conversely for girls, don't fuck alcoholics. Yes. <laughs> tell you that. Having been the fucking villain in those particular goddamn interactions. Okay, there's a whole bunch of uh, stupid shit you can do to talk to people. You can use your telephone at your desk and call all those extensions we saw. Don't want to do that. No, I imagine you don't. Do 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 do. Uh, is it? Is there any sort of thing about the plot, like something that might give me an idea about what I should be doing? Okay, go back to your, your computer and log on again. Uh, okay, you will okay. not be ghost punched this time. More's, but I, more's I don't pit, trust it. Yeah. More's the pity. Ghost punching! Well, aside from getting us both riled up, I don't think there's much argument on that whole... Well, okay, it's a fundamentally moot point having an argument with these people. It's like when you have a discussion with a really religious person. All but, right. And what, what, what kind of bugs me about them is they'll use all these different points that you can argue with them on, but then the second they get pigeonholed somewhere they can't explain their way out of, they just say, I have faith. And what they really should have done is just said that at the outset. Because oh, what that yeah. does, that means is either is nothing, you know, there's All no right. point presenting information. All right. And that's the same with these fucking zealots, is there's no point, you know, presenting information. I guess when they say, I have faith, they're just saying, I'm sticking with my comfortable emotions yeah. that I have. And that's what, that's what the uh, social justice zealots are doing as well. I don't know. They, have, a, they have feelings that make them feel better, and yeah, they're comfortable feelings. with them. They're going to stick with them. But getting back to the Mozilla guy, I guess... I just wonder why he had to step down when I don't think have not liking the gays should should affect his ability to work as the CEO of Mozilla. I guess. <sighs> well, the, you know, I've read well, some things where they're trying to like Mozilla's about open, and this isn't open, and it's like uh, it wasn't the uh, it wasn't the OK Cupid thing that made him step down, was it? It was because there was there was a sort of rebellion from within the company, as I understand it. There were a lot of uh, other Mozilla. Like higher ups saying uh, that his hiring as a thingy was a bad idea, was as the CEO was a bad idea. But I still, I mean, I don't agree with his opinions, obviously. But I don't agree with hounding someone for their opinions either. It's the problem of the adversarial nature of this because I, I've had like really homophobic and profoundly racist family members and st and stuff like that. And I, if you if you walk up to a human being, slap them in the face, say you're wrong. Here's why. They don't think. That shuts well, no. down thought. And the, the the goal here is is to expand 
you know, what you want, is to make people believe what you believe and think what you think and to invite them into a way of living that you believe is better. Like, that should be, the, you know, the ultimate goal is to recruit, not to alienate, belittle, and destroy. Unless you're just trying to satisfy yourself. Yeah, well, that's, that's what I mean. It's, there are times when, like, take the uh, Bill Nye, Ken Ham debate, for instance. That was a time when neither of them were going to change each other's minds. That was a de- public debate for the purposes of an audience. So in those circumstances, you can be a little different. You can ber- berate and belittle if you're going to try and reduce someone's argument when you're trying to convince a larger, you know, sort of audience that like that. That reminds me of, thank you for smoking. But person to person, it needs to be gentle. Like, you don't change your mind by yelling. You don't change your mind by screaming. Anger is such a waste and useless fucking, you know, expenditure of energy because it won't change your mind. It just doesn't. Well, we're wasting a lot of energy on them social justice people. Well, I mean, to be fair, this entire exercise of sitting here yammering on over a game is, you know... Oh, okay. Okay, you you, uh, you looked at the Venomen Sagawa document. I'll go back and have another look at it. It says to click on the body three times. Oh. Why three times? I don't know. It's Sierra. Okay. Anti-inflammatory. Oh, that could be nice. Antihistamine. I need those for when I nearly die. Oh, have you been like, have you been adding to it? Is that what we're doing? I don't know. Is that that what I'm doing? Alright, so cough suppressant was the last one. Yum, nom, 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 nom. So that's literally how I solve this puzzle as I sit at work. For a while. Oh, maybe you're gonna get ghost punched again. I'd be a little afraid of that. Ghost punch. Come on, let's do it. Let's see if we can. Something behind me. Let's see if we can split the lip this time. It's Shut up. Oh my god, I. I just realized. This is a screen. No, I haven't finished cleaning the cupboard yet. It's not decent. Oh, they're treading all over it. Is that guy laughing? <laughs> That's the uh, worst acting ever. That lady's being taken away. <laughs> it was like... Ah, uh... oh, finally, something's happening. Uh... Oh, now I'm in a wheelchair. Oh, what's going on? This is pretty Jacob's laddery, isn't it? Yeah. Pity that there was already a much better game, but based on Jacob's ladder. Which one? Silent Hill. All right. It does have some Jacob's laddery elements. I wouldn't. I wouldn't exactly call. It, I'd say this is based on Jacob's ladder. I wouldn't call Silent Hill based on. It was. Uh, it's, it's, influenced. It was uh, openly admitted that Silent Hill was influenced by Jacob's ladder. Well, influence and based on is different. Inf- influence is like mood. The whole and tone. S- the whole scene with the subway train in Silent Hill Three is like a straight off, copied from Jacob's Ladder. Um, I haven't played Silent Hill Three. I've been playing Silent Hill um, Shattered uh, Memories. Yes, I know because you borrowed it from me. Yeah. Yahtzee has this fun rule where like, and it's a fair rule because he has a lot of video games and doesn't want to lose them. Where you're not allowed to you know borrow something from him if you've already borrowed something from him. Because I've learned the hard way. Yeah. That it's impossible to keep track of who's got what. <clears throat> no, I think that's a val- I think that's a valid rule. I the still don't is, know. Every who's time got- he asks me if I've still got something of his, I mention Resident Evil Six, and then he'll get annoyed and tell me I can't loan something, and then I have to remind him. And I've done this four times now that he will not take Resident Evil Six back. I, I don't think I've uh, ever asked for it back, have I? You know, you've. You, you've said, well, you're not allowed to borrow something until you bring it back. And I'm like, I tried to bring it back four times. You've said no to it. So, like, each one's like, I don't want that in my house. And I'm like, that's fair. Yeah. Well, if I wanted to, <clears throat> if I did want to play it again for whatever reason, I'd probably get the Steam version. That's one of the worst games I've ever played in my entire life. Hey, let's tell our... Uh, help me, skeezer. Help me, gay friend. God, I'm seeing things. Uh, someone just grabbed my face. It was a bad touch. <laughs> <laughs> like on a, I suppose it's because I've dealt with mental health shit but if shit like this was happening I'd just be walking to a hospital right now I'd be going something's amiss I need to be sedated or just go and have a sleep no 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 like I I still get weird anxiety and shit like that but that's fine I can control that and now so, full a... tilt hallucinations with tactile and like complete environmental change no and now for an awkward conversation Stroke moustache. <laughs> Did you see that? They simultaneously stroked their faces. That was fucking choreographed, that was. All right, bud. I've got you trapped. Talk to me. What happened today? I 
The guy in the background's thinking, I'm trying to figure out if you guys are dressed street enough for this place. <laughs> Did we have any other topics? Um... Polygon did an interesting thing about the predatory in-app purchase practices of unscrupulous piece of shit scumfuck app makers. That is pretty unscrupulous, isn't it? Well, no, okay. deba- no debate there. <laughs> yeah, the Continue good one was... looking at boring man. <laughs> <laughs> the good one was um, it started out this guy had a football game on his on his thing and it allowed in-app purchases without having to add the password of the account holder again. I think it, that's that this is just cuz uh, it's still a relatively young Yeah. There's fuck all legislation the, on it that and there's still lots of exploitation. Everyone's jumping in to trick, cajole and manipulate money out of idiots. Someone's got to come and legislate this at some point. I'll legislate it. A fucking hammer. I mean there is the whole thing about the government being in the pockets of the corporations these days but I don't know if they're in the pockets of, like, king.com. I told you, about you know what? Maybe, maybe if, they are. Maybe if the corporations did all this stupid idiot money harvesting, then maybe that would help our species evolve. Maybe, you know, they'll all lose all their money and starve to death, and the Smarties will continue to propagate the species. Maybe these, uh, maybe these sinister corporations are, in fact, the greatest humanitarians we will ever know. Stupid people are just a, uh, a, a, a wasted opportunity. You need to reach out and encourage and educate. Well, listen to you, Niccolo Machiavelli. <laughs> well, that's true. A human is a fantastic resource, and I think it's unfortunate that people A human don't... is a fantastic resource. Yeah. Gabriel Morton, 2014. Yeah. Fantastic resource. And you Especially are... Especially like... when you're trying to find some nice fuel to keep the fire burning in my <laughs> is, death camp oven that's an, that's absolutely the opposite of what i'm implying a human should put you know it's like a an adventure game or something or like fallout like put points into you add skills to you you if, are worth this if you don't put points into yourself you become an npc in your own fucking game which is depressing well, how very nerdly put yeah well if you, speaks, like build you that's, but if you were the dictator of the world You'd build one or two camps, wouldn't you? Uh, that's not a job I'd want. No, but if you were... Well, I mean, that's what I always love about idiots who keep calling for revolution, and it's like... What are you gonna do with all the people who fought against you and disagreed? Because that's at least a prison. Wait, are you saying everyone who's called for revolution is an idiot? No, the modern, you know, like, the modern, like... People in first, first world countries with, like, slight problems who scream that they need a revolution, what they really need is just some minor change. So you're saying Russell Brand is an idiot? Yes. Russell Brand is a fucking yayo. Again, no debate there. Back to boring men. I mean, that's what I love. Everyone's like, we need a revolution. Cool. What are you going to do? How are you going to do that? What are you going to do with all the people who disagree with you? Are you going to shoot them? Because you can't just leave them around. You're going to imprison them? What about their kids? What are the people who hate you because you did that to them? Are you going to shoot them? Where are you going to put yeah. the corpses? Are you going to feed them to the kids? Good plan, actually. Point like, you know, yeah, ask... Because, I mean, you know, I had hope for Egypt, and then, like, we had that podcast, it was like, oh, Egypt's looking good, and then literally two days later, the first shots were fired into the um, crowds, and it's all just gone to, you know, screaming hell. Was that the one where I was talking about how fussy they were being? <laughs> you inconsiderate jerk. I think that's one of my favorite conversations we've had I mean, listening back. <laughs> fucking revolutions aren't fun. They're not a fucking camp. Well, no. I mean, look at the French Revolution. Actually, that was a topic I... Well, even I've... Ukraine. It's like, this is hard, you nitwits. Actually, that was a topic I've had a couple of weeks back that we didn't get around to using, but uh, there's the new Assassin's Creed game has been announced to be taking place during the French Revolution. And guess what? I fucking called that. Like, right after Assassin's Creed 3, I wrote an article saying, of the two revolutions happening at this point in this time in history, why'd you pick the boring one? <laughs> Because America is the center of the world. Because A, the American Revolution of Independence was a largely political conflict. So you can't really get your stabby on without seeming like a monster. And B, the French Revolution took place in France, where there's shit tons of really cool architecture to climb all over. And lots of killing. Yes. <laughs> Fucking kill city. They asked a doctor to design a nice and efficient method of killing so they could get it all done swiftly without hurting people as much. Quite. That's why if I was ever getting put to death, I'd ask for the guillotine. See, what might be interesting is that traditionally the Assassin's Creed series is about the assassins want freedom for everyone, especially the poor, and the Templars want uh, control of everything, including people's thoughts, right? What I think might be interesting if they went for a French Revolution setting is that in that case it's the assassin line of thinking that's t- doing all the atrocities mm. 
It's the uh, it's the revolutionary peasantry and stuff, the ones who want freedom, who are killing all the aristocrats. Yep. So Nothing might... like giving a fucking uneducated, you know, starved mass of morons sudden power and seeing them get wildly irresponsible with it. That might be a jolly interesting exploration of the whole Assassin Templar conflict, which has been a very black and white thing so far. Uh, freedom good. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do, you know, maintain freedom as the... Are we, are we getting back to our will dictator death camp conversation? What no, were you going to I, say? Okay. What were you had... going to say about freedom, Gabriel? If tomorrow I woke up with, like, full tilt Superman powers, like, exactly those powers, I'd just, like, you know, retire to a mountain, declare that if, if a war starts up, I'll end it, and find something else to do. But what if it's a just war? Doesn't matter. I just, no, I just stop the sides from fighting. I don't pick a side and make them win. I just interfere with their ability to maintain, like, high-grade aggressive combat. What if it was Nazi Germany killing all the Jews and they were being invaded so they could stop that? Well, again, how do you think me stopping conflict, oh, I'll just, yeah, yeah, the Nazis, now they're fine. Like, that's a conflict I'm gonna stop, like... Well, the Second World War seemed to do a pretty good job at stopping all the Jews from being slaughtered in Germany. <laughs> Same thing's going at, like, fucking North Korea, man. Like, there's, there's some unpleasant shit happening there. Nobody cares. Why does it say fluffy bunnies? Huh? Go back to the email inbox. Why does it say fluffy bunnies? Fluffy bunnies. Oh, hey, it's just like GTA 4. You can reply in however you want. Cool. Oh yeah, I've heard that joke. Man, you're a fast typist. That's a less good joke. Well, it's getting sent. Ah, oh, okay, this is what the game is now. I'm responding to emails. What a lovably hopeless man you are, Curtis Craig. Except without the lovably part. Ex well, I guess both the ladies in the office would, th would think differently. Yeah. <sighs> Me. Ah, hello, why, everyone. Why are you looking at these? What the? Uh... Uh... Okay. Okay. Okay, fun game, listeners. Someone in an office, send that one around. Post results. Look at it again. Hang on. Get away from this email. Yeah, here you go. Copy-paste. Shall I do a dramatic reading? Yes. I just wanted to let you know that <laughs> I'm a murderer. I killed my mother. I made her do it. She hung herself because I'm such a freak. Because I'm such a monster. You should have seen her with her eyes bulging out of her face like rotting cherries and her tongue all black and purple and fat and piss dripping down her leg onto the rug. You remember, Curtis, don't you remember? You remember, you remember, you little freak. Eek, eek, eek. That was my three exclamation marks. Awesome. Ah, oh, that was fun. Uh, I'm trying to talk, but all this text on the screen is killing my mind. Make it go away. Now give a straight reply, give a straight reply. Ha! Yes! You sexless twat! I'm the best at answering emails. So lonely. Yeah, be sarcastic. Actually, don't <laughs> don't send that because that makes me want to kill myself. Yeah, yeah. Office politics, the game. Okay, get get away from the emails. I can't think with all this text that's getting into my head. I'm probably gonna need to play through this at home. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm getting, oh, you it's getting in my mind now. I need to know. Are you intrigued now? I need to solve the puzzle of flesh. Well, just watch a Let's Play or something. I don't like doing that. Why? What's wrong with you? I know, it's weird. Like, I, you know, I'm involved in the production of them. I'd never watch the damn things. 
Because it's like watching porn when I could be fucking. Because <laughs> that's so easy for you, isn't it? No, but if the option is there, like, I'm not gonna watch porn. Right? Wh why not? Because sex is more interesting. Haven't you ever watched porn with a lady to fire yourselves up? Uh, no, that one's never actually come up. I have. Yeah. How'd that go? Good. Was it sexy? What yeah. kind of porn was it, just out of curiosity? It was Japanese hentai. <sighs> Pieces are falling into place. I'm not gonna talk about my sex life anymore. Is the girl anyone I know? I can't remember who it was, actually. I just remember... <laughs> I just remember... I How just, do you forget that? Shut up. I just remember I've done it with some women in the past. How do you forget... Is it your idea? I don't think so. I just, uh, you know, it is healthy for... I don't for, think so? It is healthy for partners to look at porn together. Are you going to tell me it's not? I'm not saying it's not healthy, but I'm just more interested about the vague non-answers you're giving about, like, who you've done this with and whose idea it was. Allow me a little mystique. Uh, so so is this, curious. Do you think the second time's the charm with the screwdriver thing? Apparently, because, like... This, is this a different cinematic? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure it is. I remember him, like, sort of digging it into the, just underneath the lock the last time. Alright, well, how do we get this open? Cause, do um, you want the Quizmaster's Book of Secrets again? Are you gonna be a Quizmaster, or are you just gonna blurt the answer at me? Okay, give me a sec. Do Actually, at this point, just blurt the answer at me. I'm, I'm tired of fucking around. I just want to see what happens when I get in there. Um, so you did the scene in the restaurant. Yes. I think you're supposed to go back to your computer and... Uh, mess around with that. To my fucking emails. Mess about with that one document again, the Vendemen Sagawa document. Ay, ay, ay. What? It's a nice cubicle. A lot of, there are a lot of starving African children would kill for a nice cubicle like that. And have. Well, not a cubicle. Well, some, some kind of shelter at yeah, least. Some very basic shelter. Alrighty, come on, document. Let's right. dock. However many times the charm. Maybe this time a foot will come out of the screen. <laughs> Place your bets, people. <laughs> just a set of testicles, but on top there's not a penis, just another set of testicles. Clicky, clicky. Alrighty, I don't want to be in mail. It's yeah, time to get to work. Okay. Let's... Venom and Sagawa. Huh? Yes. Now you have to spell out something. Curtis? No. Clits? No. Venom? Combine your pet with uh, the youthful form of your gender. Boy blob? <sighs> what is the species of your pet? Oh, rat. Yes. Rat so, boy. There you go. Was that, Shit dicks. Was that quiz mastery enough? Um, yeah, not bad. I should have made it rhyme. I'll work on that. What? <laughs> Rat boar. Kiss your what? Rat boar. The computer doesn't have an ass. <coughs> I don't know how you're supposed to guess this. To be fair, we're not hearing a lot of dialogue, so I'll give it the benefit of the doubt on that one. It's a pretty bloody obscure thing. Wait, what? Something's like eat babies. All right. Nope. Uh, something about laundry detergents? Look pensively at screen and type. I think right, this is I'm getting the same one over and over I think again. This is gonna continue matricide. Happening. Okay, what? What? Where's the matricide? It was employees. Okay. Something's playing silly buggers. Oh, Curtis. You nutty mother killing person. Okay, you've done the Venomous Girl thing. Blood is sweet. <sighs> I'm starting to enjoy this game, actually. I'm totally gonna give this a run through when I get home. Well, I mean, maybe not today because I got a bit of work to do. But well, I don't think this is gonna be going anywhere anytime soon. Why don't you? What have do I have to do next? Uh, I don't know. It just says. Um... Okay. How is it you always manage to find the single least helpful FAQs on the internet? 
Well, well I, probably <coughs> because I always go to game FAQs, Gabriel. Reverse endorsement. Okay, talk. examine Bob and talk to him <laughs> about the computer files. Okay, where's Bob? I don't know. I think it's this guy. Yes, he's the twatty man. Oi, shit can't. I found my document. That was pretty juvenile of you. What are you talking about, Craig? It's not my fault you can't find your files. Yeah, well, whatever. Just don't let it happen again. Or Look at you getting your tough fresh, face on. Yeah, eat it, Newman from Seinfeld. <laughs> He's You taught him a lesson. Now talk to Trevor... Oh, kill him with a screwdriver. Ah, 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 ah. Now talk to Trevor about Bob. Ah, uh, you'll get yours, Bob. I guess Bob is the guy in the office everyone complains about. And little dog, too. Oh, I can't believe Bob. Hey, Darkest Timeline, David I'm Spade. Sure Help me out murdering a fat cunt. Uh, no, but I'm sure it was ill-mannered and lame. This is a cubicle no, farm. I, I can hear everything you're saying, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Less than a meter away. Yep. These aren't real walls. Yep, just over here stewing in my <laughs> hatred. <laughs> nope, be my guest. So he just validated my life choice to murder a guy. Okay, now go back to your computer and click on the Venom and whatever it is again. We are Venom! No, you're not. You're Venom and Sagawa. I guess that means you're Japanese Venom. Mm. Do, you ever, do you ever read the book version of um, You Only Live Twice? Uh, no, my brother's read all of the original novels and says they're weirdly different. Well, part of the, like, the big evil scheme in that book is that Blofeld has come to Japan and built a sort of suicide garden. Where he's put a whole bunch of poisonous plants, and, uh, now all these Japanese people who just can't be stopped trying to kill themselves all the time... This was, uh, Ian Fleming's opinions, by the way. <laughs> ...are all going in there and, uh, getting all killed in nasty ways. So it's up to James Bond to stop him. Alright, I think you can leave the office now. Go back to the entrance and examine the door behind Curtis to exit Wintech. I think that's a good day's work. We snogged a couple of chicks. <laughs> we, uh, enforced our relationship with the fat man. And now we're going to go home. With our casual saunter. It says, go, it says go to Dreaming Tree. Which is, uh, before you think it's anything interesting, it is the restaurant you were in earlier. Sweet, pulsating spider Christ. Who calls a restaurant Dreaming Tree? What the fuck was that? I'm a regular here, man. I know everyone at the Dreaming Tree. I think he was, ju I think he was just slipping him a tenner. Sup? Don't don't go coming in my soup this time, all right? That's <laughs> the usual clean soup, please. Okay, now you're in the dreaming tree. Curtis, my man. Examine who I presume is Max for an additional yeah. cutscene. Oh boy, cutscenes, my favorite. Is that guy in West Side Story? <laughs> Oh, he's got a tucked-in t-shirt and all. <laughs> it's a fucking epidemic. All right. Are you done? Because we've got we're past an hour. If you'd like to stop and maybe go home and play this and report back, I'm not going to play this today. This, I guess, I've 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 got work to do and a few other things to do. But uh, okay, well, I don't know. This is. Because I played through the whole X Files FMV game, and it had way less puzzles and gameplay than this actually does. Well, there weren't so many puzzles <coughs> in FMV games, were there? Uh, except, except this, apparently. But the puzzle is talk to thing for the twelfth time today. I those things where the puzzle is click on something several times in a row is kind of irritating to me. Like especially when they don't give, they don't telegraph that a different thing is happening. So what do you give Phantasmagoria Boreas Noria out of ten? <laughs> um. Well, okay, as a game, objectively, it's, you know, a fairly run-of-the-mill, moderately laughable point-and-click adventure game. That's your objective opinion, is it? Well, you know, it's it's trying to observe it as how other people would observe it. Because personally, I have kind of a... You know, like how people like shitty B-horror movies and shit? I kind of have a, a soft spot for, like, shitty B-grade point-and-click 
you know, FMV games like this, because I just, they only existed br briefly. There was like this flare up in the 90s, it was like FMV game, and then it just went and disappeared so fast. I can hear in your voice that you want to <coughs> cough. Yeah. Well, do you need it? Do I have to remind you not to cough <coughs> into the mic again? No, see, I'm not coughing into the mic, I usually cough into my shoulder. It's an old hospital thing, because you can't cough into your hands and handle people's shit. Of course. I mean, your hand is something you wash all the time. <coughs> Thank you. Would you like oh, to. Oh, yeah! Would you like to play the. Uh, play as the full coughing orchestra? <laughs> Conductor no, it's, Gabriel? It's, it's done now. But see, like, again, like, it's, it's, if you do have a soft spot or are interested in point and click adventure games or kind of the history of gaming and the absurd little, you know, points that the history of gaming has, like FMV games. I'd definitely play this, because it's ridiculous and a fine example of the sort of absurdity that uh, was prevalent at the time. Well, thank you, AJP Taylor. And now I for the sport. I don't know who that is. 